In the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul takes great time to thoroughly explain one of the greatest truths in all of Scripture. It's a theological term called justification, how we can be made right, declared righteous in God's sight. And in chapter 4, he uses the father of the Jewish nation, Abraham, as an example. Listen to what he says in the first few verses. Abraham was, humanly speaking, the founder of our Jewish nation. What did he discover about being made right with God? If his good deeds had made him acceptable to God, he would have had something to boast about. But that was not God's way. For the scriptures tell us, Abraham believed God, and God counted to him as righteous because of his faith. See, quite simply, in the book of Romans chapter 4, it wasn't Abraham's right living, but his right thinking and believing that made him right in God's sight. It's by faith. See, for us, we know that new life comes through Jesus. That's right. New life in Jesus. That's the way. It's faith in him, not works for him, that makes us right in his sight. So today, let me encourage you. You have life and forgiveness, hope and meaning. You're part of a family, the family of God, and you have a future, the future of heaven, because of what Jesus has done. Can I ask you to do something today? Would you be thinking and praying of someone in your circle, your sphere of influence, that needs to know this great truth? See, this morning, not only do we want to be those that enjoy this truth, but we want to be those that share this truth with everyone we come in contact with. See, it's all about new life in Jesus. Abraham knew that it was about faith in God. We know that it's about faith in God. And I bet you know someone who does not know that yet. So today, live on mission with Jesus by sharing and showing that the way to experience life is by experiencing new life in Jesus through faith.